know if I've ever heard a truly coffee in the van. <laughs> it's not all about me. Well, it is actually. Um, so, uh, I don't know if it's too dark. Maybe it's too dark. We'll see. So, here we are. Here we are. Coffee in the van. Uh, Except we don't have coffee. We have water because it's cold. So, it's not coffee in the van with Rob and Jan. It's been a long time since we've done a coffee in the van. We stopped for a bit for several reasons, really. <laughs> Life. One step forward, two steps backwards. That's, that's 2020, 2021. It's all kind of the same, right? Yeah. So, coffee in the van. What's been going on? What's been going on? What hasn't been going on? A whole <laughs> pile of uh, chasing our tail. We're like a dog <laughs> trying to land on our feet here. So we're going to explain what's going on and what, and because yeah. in our last video we said we've got news, good news, bad news, lots of exciting things. We're not going to talk about everything today, but we're going to talk about why we stopped doing coffee in the van for a little bit. Um, I just realized I'm looking down here and the camera's up there, isn't it? We should be looking up there. Right? Can't see my eyes anyway. But you should be looking up here to talk. Yep. So, why did we stop? We had things going on. Um, I had to have a recent surgery is what happened. And so I had to recover from that. I'm going to give a backstory to that. But as a little disclaimer, it's going to talk about different parts and serious matters and such. So maybe kids don't want to be listening to it or maybe watch it with them to explain things if you want to. Why are you looking at me, buddy? Part one, part two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but before we get to that, before we get to that, let's talk about a couple of shout outs we want to do for a couple of people that we wanted to do this a while back, but we just haven't been uh, filming uh, anything currently. We've been doing more of our old footage, which now we're done all of our old footage from our travels. And Rob's mm -hmm. still doing his... Uh, van build series yeah, which he's yeah. been working like on anchor around my neck no I'm, it's not <laughs> if it doesn't drown me <laughs> it's going great so um first shout out one of our biggest fans right from the start awesome guy and he's down in texas and he gave us a shout out a while back that we appreciated so much uh just out of the blue gave us a shout out said some amazing things about us and and uh, really positive comments, and sent some people our way on on YouTube's, which we which, on YouTube, which we really appreciate, and um, and just what always has the funniest comments, and really interesting to listen to and talk to on or listen to 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 chat with on our comments. And that guy is Fred. No, <laughs> you lost me, Jim. Well, of course it's Jim. I know that you didn't say it. Well, just seeing if you remembered. That dialogue went on so long. It's I like, know, we haven't even started. God. So Jim, totally relaxed with an exclamation mark. Jim, totally relaxed is yeah. his channel name with an exclamation mark. He does some, he's done some cute little videos. He does a lot of um, kind of opening boxes with some little tech items he likes to buy, kind of like you, a little Amazon junkie um but anyways buy uh some little gadgets show us how they work in his, his vehicle driving around uh does some footage of some nice little gardens in the area footage of his neighborhood and uh one of his neighbors did nice footage on a little interview with one of his neighbors so does some uh great little interviews does some shout out videos for people uh, just a great guy if you want to go over check him out on his channel once again totally relaxed with an exclamation mark and his name is jim awesome guy He's in Texas. So that's one shout out. The other one is. Are you going to say the wrong name again? I didn't know his last name was Awesome Guy. <laughs> Anyways, the other one is Gina. So yeah. if you don't know Gina, you should know Gina. So it's Van Life with Gina is her channel. Incredible. Like she, she did, us, did a shout out for us as well. All of a sudden, people are coming over to our channel saying, hey, Gina sent me over. I'm like, what is this? Didn't Never had been to her channel, didn't know about her. But now we do, and she is awesome. She's like a female Chrome. If you know Chrome from Van City Van Life, she's like a female Chrome. She's like a cross between Rosie O'Donnell and Chrome, I think. <laughs> like, Don't you think? Like, She's a great interviewer. She's got such energy. She just really, really makes you feel special on her uh, yeah. channel, does a lot of 
live streams on Wednesdays and oops, Wednesdays and Saturday nights and um, gets people involved and having fun and does some cute little videos of her cats. She's in a uh, step up van, right? Yeah. And does some great videos um, in her van with her five cats. Five cats, five. yeah. Yeah, five. Jacob and Doc and I don't know the other ones, but uh, yeah, she's, she's awesome. So check yeah. out Van Life with Gina if you have not. Uh, she is incredible. So those are two shout outs you wanted to give. Funny thing is both of those people were truck drivers in their careers. Chrome so, was a truck driver? Not Chrome, oh. Jim and Gina. <sighs> Can't get them to keep up. Anyways, they're the shout outs. Now onto our story. So we got some exciting news eventually to tell probably in our next video, but we're still, it's still in the works, but some new changes and fun stuff coming up. Um, in what terms of what? What's happening today? What's what, yeah, the thing that's happening today oh. that we won't talk about yet, but on to me and my surgery. It's all about me. So <laughs> I'm going to backtrack a bit. So in 2018, uh, summer of 2018, my mother passed away fairly suddenly. It was a kind of a quick thing. She ended up having yeah. a couple of different cancers that ended up resulting in her having um, uh, stage four brain cancer and passing away fairly quickly. My father passed away quite a few years before that, also of cancer. Um, so that 2018, that on top of some other family having some health issues and different things going on kind of was a stressful year. And then a few months after my mom passed away, I ended up going for a routine mammogram out of the, you know, just kind of went to it for a routine mammogram, ended up uh, being kind of a shock because they, they found something, weren't sure what it was. Once again, if, if you're, if children are watching and you're concerned about the, them watching this kind of thing, it's more serious, to serious topic. So, you know, keep your, just think about that when you're watching with them. Um, so long story short it ended up being something more than what they thought it was uh it started out as a little tiny very tiny spot they weren't sure what it was went through a biopsy you know mammogram ultrasound biopsy ended up getting a lumpectomy for something they thought was called lcis which is lobular carcinoma in situ uh and that is basically odd cells that can kind of deformed cells, odd cells that can become cancer. So they decided to take it out to make sure, you know, it doesn't develop into anything further. But when they did the lumpectomy found, I didn't just have LCIS, I had DCIS, which is ductal carcinoma in situ, as well as a combined uh, mixed lobular and ductal invasive cancer. So I did actually have cancer. So the whole of 2019 was spent, hmm, one surgery, then another surgery because I had to get all lymph nodes out. I had to get the, they found something potential in the other breast, had to have another lumpectomy on that one and had ended up having three major surgeries in 2019 and finished off the year with uh, radiation treatments. Um, in the mix of all of that, so that was 2019, in the mix of all of that also went on in, um, uh, throughout all of that, had some other issues with some other parts and ended up having a hysteroscopy and a DNC to correct some other issues I had going on at the same time. Uh, I kept on going through 2020 having biopsies to check all of that and um, ended up resulting recently in the surgery I just alluded to in March of this year had a total hysterectomy um, and so didn't do any coffee in the vans because I was healing for a couple of months there. So it, it ended up going really well. And actually in hindsight, 2020 was pretty good because I didn't have any surgeries in 2020, but I've had two, in two years, I've had four major surgeries and treatments and such. So the last couple of years have been kind of crazy. And why am I telling you all this? So the reason I'm telling you this is for a couple of reasons. First of all, just want to say, I'm always cheerful and happy and, and I think people always say how cheerful and happy I am, but you also have to, you always have to realize, I think in life that not, even if people are cheerful and happy, you don't know what's going on in the background. So yeah. 
what the, the lesson is always be kind and people have been kind everyone's been awesome to me and um i'm very private when it comes to a lot of my stuff i love doing the youtube thing and that but that's kind of a even though it's us and it's genuine you're still only sharing what you choose to share mm -hmm. and i think what it comes down to for me is that there's nothing to be embarrassed or ashamed of to have you know surgeries that affect you as a woman and women get your mammograms it's so important because I'm very lucky they caught everything so early and, and we're very diligent with everything and um, and I have risk factors still and I have to keep you know going for mammograms and MRIs and such every year but um, right now as of right now I'm clear of everything um, I did end up having uterine cancer as well when they took out my uh, all my lady parts in March I, they did end up finding cancer there as well so um, no treatments needed because it was contained which is awesome but I guess it comes down to, ch you know, always be on top of your health, get your mammograms. You never know. It's always good to be better safe than sorry and find things early and don't be embarrassed or ashamed to talk about your challenges because your challenges and through challenges comes life <laughs> and, and different yeah. things. Because the reason I'm telling you all this is the whole start of our journey started because of these challenges in Starting, I think, about 2018 is when you found Chrome online, right? Van yeah. City Van Life yeah, started kind of checking him out. I was floating around. <laughs> I said, what is this guy into? <laughs> like, he was just like, yeah, I wish I had some of what he's smoking. But uh, not, not that he does. But uh, he was just so out on the limb that uh, he, he was kind of, a, kind of a novelty. And then I, I started watching him and showing him to Janet. And, uh, yeah, and we yeah. started looking at trailers and different yeah, ideas. And I was like, what the heck? In yeah. 2019, what kept me sane, because I think there was just so much going on. And it went from one treatment to surgery to another surgery to so many tests and things. It, the entire year was health-related. So I was kind of going mentally and physically crazy in 2019 with everything going on all the challenges yeah. so to kind of combat that and to get through it we bought an ontario parks pass yeah. for all the provincial parks and we went almost daily drove drove to different parks within a couple hours radius of our where we were living and just spent a few hours each day you know if i if i was, felt good enough to walk we'd walk if i didn't we'd just go and sit in the car and just enjoy nature and we were like wow we just want to be out here and I think the combined, you know, starting to watch all these van life shows, we started researching van tour videos and studying all that. And we ordered this van in, near the end of 2019 because we realized, wow, life is so short. It gave us a wake up yeah. call of, yeah. you know, here are all this health thing, all these health things were going on. And I felt I was completely healthy up until that point, had no idea what was going on inside of me. And it's like, you know what? You have no idea when, <laughs> you know, things are going to change in your life. Yeah. So just do what you want to do now live your dreams because you um, never know when that light switch is going to be turned off yeah <laughs> so yeah you just don't know i we that kind of the, the challenges and and stress and all the hurdles we went through over over 2018 2019 really made us start to rethink our lives and what was important and that's what started our van life journey so that's what started this dream this idea of being creative and having fun and being out there and meeting people and we're very excited about that so yeah. wanted to share that with you the other thing too what i was going to say that i think i forgot to say when i was talking about why i'm telling this story you don't know what people are dealing with so be kind treat people how you'd like to be treated do unto others as you would have them do unto you basically so uh be kind you don't know what people are going through whether they have a smile on their face or they're yeah, sad. Every, you have every, no idea. There's, everybody everyone's got a story. has a story. Yep. And, uh, you know, not to say there's not some real jerks out there, but for the most part, they're not a jerk for no reason. You know, <laughs> so, yeah, so it's, it's nice to be able to listen to a story and be able to tell yours. And maybe, uh, you know, it'll help people uh, kind of uh, see different opinions or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, so, uh, mm -hmm. and that's what we're going through. So, uh, but now what we want to do is create a new story. And that's what we're into here now. Yep. So we got some exciting stuff that isn't quite yeah. settled yet, but, yeah, but hopefully uh, that's starting soon. Yeah, we're getting pretty close and we'll be... Don't, don't, we're not... Don't. <laughs> what, I don't know what that means. 
Are you going to develop wings and fly? What is that? We'll be free as a bird. Uh, Aaron, yeah. now you talk to the people for a bit. I'm, I, oh, that's enough. I, I think that's everything say. I wanted to yeah, say. No, I'm just looking at the camera here. Oh, that's 14, almost 15 minutes. So, uh, that's enough chatter for yeah, me. Yeah, enough, enough of that stuff. Uh, yeah, so anyway, we're just uh, prepping everything here to uh, get the road and making kind of a plan of where we want to be. And uh, yeah, we're we're just in the process here within the next couple of days of... Uh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I haven't been haircut since October of last year. Yeah. Things are still shut down here for, in Canada for, yeah. uh, we're in Ontario. Fr Friday, half things open. Uh, essential places are 25% uh, open uh, stores and non-essential 15% capacity. And so it's opening up a little. I've had both of my shots. Janet's had one. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, I'm getting my so, other one probably next month. So we're going to yeah. be all vaccinated, ready to travel. So once we both have our Superman capes, we can fly and uh, get out there and do things so it's hot today that's the other reason we're not oh, having yeah. coffee it's like 29 before humidity oh, yeah. and yeah. although you know what in here it's not bad we've got the vents open here the windows we've got the back air fan going hopefully it's not too loud and this one open just to bring it out and then a little fan on us and it's actually yeah. pretty not too bad what was it 29 today it's actually 33 degrees oh, 30, here, Celsius. Shows, yeah. Celsius Jim's here. probably laughing going rookies Canadians <laughs> Canadians <laughs> oh and a little shout out to Michelle Oh, see, we should be looking up here. It's going to look like you're yeah, looking look, down look. here the whole time. See, you're looking here. Hey, not next to the point. Oh. <laughs> so, <laughs> Michelle, I think she's in Germany. I hope I'm not wrong. She's, um, Michelle watches our channel all the time too. And she's awesome because she reads our description, which is funny. Because I'll always write little notes. Most people in their descriptions just put little, you know, hashtags or links or anything like that. I always write a little story about what our show, our current video is about. And I'll put little funny things in there and she reads it. So I started, because she was reading it, I started mentioning her in our description, in our in our description part of our video. So if anyone else notices and reads our description, I'll, I'll call you out in, it, in our next description. So there you go. <laughs> so yeah. all of our, we've caught up yeah. with all our old footage. So there's no more van life journey across all the, all the footage we have from like October, November of last year and what yeah. we did through the winter all done so anything we're doing now is more current like this yeah and you're still working on your van build van videos build, yeah. probably only about five or six videos yeah, left yeah i don't know uh, yeah. i've got a big one coming up uh about the um roof rack and the and the solar because yeah, that, that was, was custom that, that, was, that cool. was quite a build that was quite a build we built a 13 foot i think uh one piece roof rack so uh anyway uh that will be coming out and um uh, yeah, we're done all of our stuff uh, from the build to here that we're uh, recorded while we're traveling. But uh, we'll probably be doing some here in the next little while, but just for Ontario because things are opening up slowly and uh, we're going to have a little more freedom here very soon. Don't. So, <laughs> so we, we'll, we'll start doing little uh, things here to uh, put out... Uh, based around this area that we're in and uh, our mm -hmm. province. Uh, yeah, maybe yeah. going to some of the you know locations, like maybe back up to Sault Ste. Marie area yeah. and boondocking in that area we were in that we like so much. Maybe going to like Point Pelee and those areas kind of southern, um, more southern Ontario, like is that Lake Erie? Well, Point Pelee is the most southerly part in Canada. And maybe like Huron area. Yeah, like just kind of doing yeah. all the, the circumference sanctuary. and yeah. yeah. So lots of we'll do more local traveling, uh, and we might at some point try a live stream. We're trying to decide well, if we feel comfortable. If we ever do a live stream, you guys let us know in the comments what time of day, night, time of the week, whatever works for you based on your time zone, and we may at some point do a live stream. Yeah. Maybe with Rob playing some guitar. We'll see. No, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but that's yeah. good. So uh, what we we'll. What we will be doing in the future here is when we're doing our uh, videos is we're going to try and develop a, a format that uh, we can, you know, uh, make that uh, will give you content that is uh, uh, favorable to what we're doing. But uh, I've been doing photography for, oh God, oh, 30, Three million four, years. 40 years. Three million 40 years. years. The video, I'm not uh, familiar with. It was uh, mostly still, but uh, I'm starting to get into this. So... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we're, we're going to kind of do a hybrid thing, uh, see what we can come up with and make it entertaining for you and uh, creative for ourselves because that's why we're out here uh, 
we got to be creative, or, you know, and yeah. uh, oh, whether my it's poetry. writing. Oh, my poetry. Yeah, I've had poems I've had written for like months. Uh, I have at least three others that I haven't done for some van lifers that are, are, are not, uh, well, former van lifers, YouTube creators. Oh, she's got the best but, words. <laughs> anyways, I didn't do them based on yeah. our circumstances. Like we planned to do this video a long time ago. We have a really fun one we're going to be doing that I wrote months ago. I was going to perform. Then I ended yeah. up having surgery yeah. and you're going to love that one. But so t stay tuned. We're going to have lots of creative stuff. Uh, Rob's photography, my poetry, lots yeah. of fun stuff. Yeah, we're going to develop uh, something that uh, maybe will keep you entertained and uh, keep us on the move because yeah. that's what it's all about. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's it. So. Okay. High five. He doesn't do high five. Watch how sucky he does this. No, not that. No, high five. Do he like doesn't like that? He doesn't do like. Put your hand up. You know what? He can't See? do a high five. It drives me crazy. High fives like that. No, you kill mosquitoes like that. I'm from Northern Ontario. Now, if there's a mosquito on he your does, forehead, he does a high five like this, like you gotta, like you, you gotta do. Put like... one on your forehead, then it goes. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Ciao. Turn it off. Should have waited. Why? You better wait. You gotta create those pregnant pauses before you use the, uh, so you can cut. Okay, turn it off. <laughs> what? Okay, bye. What? Turn it off. What are we gonna do? Get the button. Get the button. If I could hear my father's voice, he would tell me to move on. Say I'll be just fine Yeah He would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal A favorite song is on repeat Drinking wine until the dawn